Hey, what's going down, y'all? What's going down? Uh, it is a glorious Friday. It is a glorious Friday. I still miss uh, the big guy every day. Uh, Fridays, we used to hook up for Fuente Fridays, which for those of y'all that partake in fine cigars, uh, Arturo Fuente makes probably one of the best Dominican cigars on the planet. Um, that's my jam. Uh, I'm an Opus X guy. They're kind of hard to get a hold of. They're not the cheapest thing in the world, but I don't give a shit. It's a good cigar and I like it. So uh, picked up a couple today. Um, but I wanted to pass along some information real quick. We get away from all the, the stupid sideshow side bullshit. Um, pass some information. Everybody's been asking, trying to turn shit into conspiracy theory and stuff like that about uh, obituaries, funerals, services, shit like that. We are doing what we can right now to work with some of the authorities and the hospital down in DR along with um, some private citizens to be able to get Lou's remains back here to the States to his family so that they can uh, give him a burial or a memorial service, whatever they choose to do. Um, I do not know if that is going to be open to the public. I do not know if his family is going to want God and everybody there. It is completely up to them. And we're all going to have to accept that. If they want it to be a private service and only close friends and family, that that's what it's going to end up being. But we're working that angle right now. We're trying to get them stateside. You guys have to understand it takes a lot to be able to remove remains from one country and bring them to another one. Yes, we understand he's a United States citizen. However, pause for effect dot 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 because we have a lot of people out there that want to play Johnny Detective. And unfortunately... That's been my job for a very long time, so I'm very good at it. Um, Lou did not have his passport on him at the point where he went into the hospital. Um, I do not know if his wife knows where that's at. It was secured, obviously. He's down in, been down in the DR since, well, fuck, last fall. So I would imagine it's secured there in the house somewhere. So she's uh, going through the process of dealing with her grief and mourning and then... Uh, for those of y'all that have lost loved ones, especially spouses, you understand it takes a hot minute before you can start going through their stuff and shit like that. But the hospital did not have the passport, therefore they could not make the uh, notification to the embassy, ultimately the State Department. Um, but we are working with the powers that be to be able to get uh, his remains shipped uh, stateside for uh, his family to be able to remember him uh, properly and hold the services they choose. So when those become available, I'll push that information out. I'm not dodging y'all. I'm just not gonna push out anything um, before I have good information for you guys. So um, the emails and the, and the DMs and stuff like that, I do my best to get to a lot of them, but uh, you guys you guys gotta remember, I'm going through this too. Uh, same thing with Ben. Um, we're, we're dealing and we're processing. And we're trying to keep you guys informed and we're trying to make sure that we don't overstep our boundaries with uh, Lou's family or with his wife. So I appreciate your guys' patience. Um, if people are talking shit in the comments, just ignore them. Don't engage them. Um, and like I said before, there are none of Lou's family asking for money. There's no GoFundMes for Lou's family. Lou did not have a daughter. Did not. He's got lots of nieces and nephews, but did not have a daughter. It's what it is. So if there's people out there pushing a fund me, a GoFundMe for uh, college funds for Lou's daughter, it, it is complete bullshit and probably going to be fraud. Um, I'm not going to defame it because I don't know who's starting it, but I can tell you right now it is not from any of his family. Any of his family. If they do choose to do something like that, which I do not think they will, they will push that through Ben or I. Um, as far as everybody asking me if I'm going to pick up um, where Lou left off, I'm going to take the, the baton and continue what he let on. Yes, leave it. Sorry, I got a shepherd acting a fool. Um, at this point, um, I'm not committing to anything. I'm not going anywhere. However, in my employment, I am not retired yet. I'm very, very close, but I'm not retired yet. And I just promoted and picked up the position of lieutenant. So I have a lot more duties that uh, and responsibilities that I'm going to be um, undertaking. 
So um, give me some time to deal with everything and settle in and see exactly what, uh, what and where and how I can move. And uh, we'll move forward from there. So without further ado, you guys enjoy your Friday the best you can. Remember, Lou would want you to smile and laugh. He wouldn't want you to cry. So let's live by the example he set. Let's make fun of one another. Let's have some fucking fun. Let's enjoy our family and enjoy our weekend together. And I will catch y'all next time. Mr. Elskett, signing off.